Up next is Catwoman. I bought this from the same guy that I bought Bane from. Um, like I said, um, just didn't have the time. I'm trying my best to upload at least one video a week. So, let's see. Hopefully, I didn't, like I said, I didn't really take the time to check if everything is complete or was complete when I bought this. Well, we'll figure it out together. Hopefully it's complete. And just like Bane, this is Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman. Same packaging as Bane. Uh, better packaging than the current hot toys that comes out. And also there's this cover. It says the storm is coming. And here's Catwoman. This is the manual that it comes with. And Catwoman also comes in a clamshell. Okay, next video is a closer inspection of the figure. And hopefully there's no damage or on the fake leather suit that Catwoman is in. And here is Catwoman. I will unbox it together and inspect it together. Usually I just trust people that whenever they sell a figure, it's really intact and there's no damage. Um, and I don't have the time to really sit down and inspect the figure. I've been on the losing end a few times. Maybe just a couple of times. Anyway, here's Catwoman. But so far, so good um, there are a lot of trustworthy people out there like the guy I bought the Antman from the um, guy I bought the Judge Dredd from yeah I have a Judge Judge Dread figure that's actually a third party Judge Dread, but I'll do a video of it when I find the box. So, this Catwoman figure has like rooted hair. Rooted hair means it's not like a plastic hair, it's actually uh, a hair, synthetic hair that's really punched into the head of the figure. Does it look like Anne Hathaway? you be the judge uh they came up with a newer version this is the older version of catwoman they re-released this thing this figure just recently um but i don't i don't want to pay uh the price for a new figure i think it was a good deal for this one um I bought this for two fifty, I guess, Canadian dollars, which is a really good price for this figure. Um, the joints, I think this has been displayed. No, um, which is good because the problems with uh, figures like this, with suits like fake leather or special material that's not cloth uh, suits, the joints were wherever you actually bend it ends up damaging the material but i don't i think this is how it's supposed to look like i don't think it was like bent that uh or displayed uh i usually display it in a museum post like just you know the standard dull uh standing pose like this i try to put as 
little accessories as I can because I don't have the space. Um, it comes with other pair of hands, like a closed fist, something to grab onto, like the back pod. You can display her in the back pod. And same thing as the other one. And also comes with two extra pegs. You know, uh, where you can, because the problem with those pegs throughout time, you know, it will wear, because of wear and tear, it will become brittle and breaks. Like what happened with my uh, Hellboy figure, still couldn't put the hand back in because they don't sell peg for that. Uh, most of the pegs are smaller nowadays, smaller in size, I mean. So, this Catwoman doesn't really come with a lot of figures, aside from a stand, this one. Rounded stand, I don't know what this is supposed to represent. It's a bunch of swirly thing on it. And the usual stand to with this uh, crotch or uh, leg uh, support. And, oh, yeah, the only accessory it comes with is this gun and the mask or the goggles. One gun. There we go. There's the gun. It's spring-loaded. As you can see that. There we go. Closer video of it. The attention to details. And like I said, it's spring loaded. I think I'll change the hand so that he uh, she can actually grab onto this. And uh, goggles. Um I think I'll display the goggles, but uh, I won't put the goggles down because of what like what happened with my Ray stands figure. I put the goggles on, left it for a few months, and then the paint transfer from the goggles onto the face just it was hard to remove. Um, I finally did remove it though. So this would be Catwoman's goggles, her goggles. There we go. You can put this on. on her like I said this is rooted hair so um, you really have to be careful and then there's a strap at the back um, I'll take a closer video once this is on okay I'll pause this for a bit so after fidgeting with it the best way I found to put the goggles on is to put the strap on first and then uh, set the hair like this and then slide this on And then there you go or else it will be impossible for you to put the straps on So there she is up oh, it's uneven and Okay, there she is with the goggles on and the mask I think you can flip this all the way to make this look like a pair of cat ears. There we go. I think that's how it's supposed to look like. See? And and she's she's a cat burglar and that's why they call her a cat woman. But they made the goggles to look like ears as well at a certain angle. If you flip this all the way back. And if you flip it uh, down afterwards, but you better be careful. Don't want to break it. I think the main uh, the problem people have with this one is um, the mask usually breaks. 
Oh, anyway, you already saw the figure with the mask on. I don't want to break it. I need uh, to concentrate later on you know, putting the mask on for a picture. And just the belt. I think there's a sort of a cat symbol on it. Belt is a little loose, but just it's supposed to be loose and kind of uh, it won't fall off because of the waist. Aside from that, she comes in high heels. Um, I don't think this has been really displayed. Joints are still quite. Um, It's not loose yet, so it's good. And uh, the main problem, I think, like I said, with all fake leathers, this is like really thin, soft leather material that it will fray you know, uh, through out uh, through through time. I mean, so just be careful if you have one. Uh, I'll store it with my the rest of my figures downstairs. And so far, so good. Like I said, I've never had any problems. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it. But there she is, Catwoman.